Hey guys, what's up? Today we will learn SQLite database. This is the layout I have already created. Have a quick look at layout code. In main activity, two edit texts, two text views, and four buttons. Get their IDs and set on click listener. Inside on click, check for particular button click using if else if. Now, let's start. Create SQLite database instance. To initialize this instance, use its function open or create database for other functions link is given in the description it not only opens but create the database if not exists It requires two parameters, first one is path, and second is cursor factory. This first parameter creates a database file. This part returns internal storage directory, and this, is the database file name with extension SQLite. Leave second parameter null. This function will create a table in your database. Query inside this function is same as SQL create table query. Now, the important thing, adding permissions to our app. Add read and write external storage permissions. Only write permission is need for now, but in case of later use, Add read permission also. For this, I am using helper app, but you can add permissions manually. Okay, now permissions also added. Now back to AIDE and run the app.
Now, let's go and check. Ok, now go to file manager. Go to storage directory. And see, here is our database file. Now, let's check table inside this database. To view the database tables, use this app. Name of this app is SQLite Viewer. Download it from Play Store, or its link is given in the description. Ok, now open the app. Click on the folder button present at top right corner. Select the database file from here and select the table name. Now, it's time to insert some values to the database. You can use SQL insert into query, but here we will use content values. This class is used to store a set of values and is a temporary buffer area. First, create an object of content values class. Use its put function. It requires two parameter. First one is a string value that is the field name, and second one is value to insert in that field do this for other fields also Now, these set of values will store in content values. Now use insert function of Sklite Tabis. Pass three parameters. First table name, second, null, and third, this content values object. At last, show a toast message. Now, let's run the app. Let's try to insert some values.
Ok, now let's check in the table. Back to SQLite Viewer app. Here, we have to refresh this table. To do this, open the navigation drawer. Here you will see the list of your database files previously opened. Click on the database file you have created. Select table, and see here, values inserted successfully. Ok, now do some extra work here. Clearing edit texts after inserting values. Let's try again. Thanks for watching friends. If you like my videos please subscribe to my channel.